Defense and Space News TV report. India is redesignating the Mark II upgrade of the homegrown Tejas aircraft as a medium weight fighter due to its increased weight and weapon carrying capacity. It is also designing the plane to replace the Mirage 2000 fleet of the Indian Air Force. Aeronautical Development Agency, the design agency of the Indigenous Fighter Aircraft Program, has finalized the systems and is looking to freeze the design of the medium weight fighter in a couple of months, a top scientist told DT. It is expected to have a maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 tons with an improvement of over 85% in weapons and payload carrying capacity to that of Tejas, Light Combat Aircraft, LCA. Tejas, powered by a single GE-404 engine, is a fly-by-wire fighter that has delta wings and no tail. Fly-by-wire technology enables a pilot to control the plane electronically through computers. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 13.5 tons. The LCA was designed to replace the MiG-21 aircraft, whereas the MK-2 is being designed to replace the Mirage 2000, Dr. Garish Dioda, Program Director of Ada told DT. It is being redesignated as a medium weight fighter. India bought Mirage 2000 planes from Dassault Aviation of France in the 1980s. In 2011, Hindustan Aeronautics signed a pact with Thales and Dassault to upgrade the Mirage 2000 with new avionics, radar, and weapons. Dassault has shut its Mirage plant since then. The Tejas aircraft, which first flew in January 2001, is short of completing its final operational clearance, even as it has met the initial requirements set by the Air Force. The F has inducted over six Tejas aircraft in its No. 45 squadron called the Flying Daggers that is based in Sula, near Coimbatore. It has placed order of 40 Tejas with an additional request for information placed with Hindustan Aeronautics for 83 more planes with the GE-404 engines. First MK-2 pre-production aircraft will fly with initial operational clearance bio, configuration and the first batch will be used to fine-tune and resolve any teething issues which aircraft might face initially and final operational clearance FOC, will be awarded when aircraft meets all parameters and operational requirements and will not need any additional changes thus saving a lot of developmental time. India's fifth-generation AMCA fighter jet will be developed parallelly and will be built and tested in Coimbatore, thus allowing current LCA Tejas facilities in Bengaluru to be exclusively be used for the production of MK-2 after production of MK-1A is completed. HAL by end of 2019 will be able to produce 16 aircraft per annum and have plans to scale it further up to 21 per year, after further outsourcing MK-1A components without set up any additional facilities. HAL is also keen on for further outsourcing assembly of MK-2 to a private defense sector company in India if final order placed by EF stands at 200 plus then it helps will cut final delivery schedules by three years. After the initial flights of the LCA, the EF had expressed concern over the low power thrust of the engine and asked ADA, a unit of defense research and development organization. DRDO, for design changes and more powerful engine for the LCA MK2. India has finalized the GE-414 engine, a power plant similar to the one that powers the F-18 aircraft of Boeing. The Gas Turbine and Research Establishment or GTRE, a DRDO unit in Bengaluru, has failed to deliver the indigenous Kaveri engine for the Tejas fighter after nearly two decades of development. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay with us.